that we are going to have. Um, probably some Mexican wedding soup. Um, probably some chicken noodle soup. Um, and uh, nope, I'm wrong. It's, it's lentil soup, spicy soup, and French onion soup. So no changes in the names whatsoever. Uh, they, they, they had the opportunity to do it. They chose not to. Uh, but ultimately, I think that the soup is just going to be a little too porous on the defense. And I think that the uh, crossbars uh, will get it under the crossbar for a win. All right, so I think we're going to have differing opinions. I think after last night, I feel like the soup squad is going to be able to take this. I missed opportunity there on that name, by the way. The ladle boys, I do like it, but the soup squad sounds pretty good too. Um, but yeah, I think the ladle boys are going to be able to take this one. I think this series is going to be a good one nonetheless, uh, but I, I'm rooting for the underdog here. The the team that's not undefeated, uh, one of the, they're, they're looking to take down one of them, but Morty able to get that early goal, making it one nothing. I'm Morty says, I see the back of the net here and it is uncontested into the back of the net. One nothing, four minutes and 40 seconds left to go in game number one here. An early lead for the crossbars here. We will see if they can defend the lead now against a no doubt very hungry soup team. So taking a look here at the chat real quick, we've got uh, Schmokin Six coming in saying that he thinks crossbars are taking it. Gumby also thinks the same. Uh, we've got Zabar saying crossbars, Redness saying crossbars, and one vote for the Ladle Boys coming out from Chicken Tortilla Soup. But an early push here, Morty just controlling the game with two goals in a matter of 40 seconds. And now we have Achilles hopping on the crossbars train. So the two nothing lead at 420 on the clock. Yeah, I'm already certainly blazing through the defense right now. French onion soup, though, trying to create some offense. Spicy soup can only find the crossbars, and the crossbars now looking for I Morty to spark this attack once again here. Game Freak sends it in here. French onion soup should be there for the clear. Does get a pass one here. Can't get around the second one, and Game Freak only get as far as spicy soup, and my Morty could do it on both sides of the field here, getting the goals and the saves now. And we'll see here as the attack falls into the orange half of the field here where it has been for most of this match already a few demos coming out as well as spicy soup we'll see if those demos play a vital role or if they are just a distraction for either one of these teams here we haven't seen too many demos tonight so far sparky it's been very very clean i would say so far not too chippy yeah, kind of surprised. Usually demos are a great way to kind of open up the offense or maybe get, uh, create a path to get the clears on defense. But we've seen so far through the first match and now the start of this one, pretty clean matches. Uh, but we'll see if that might change as we go throughout the game uh, and we start to see teams get a little bit more open into how they play. But again, you see right now, the Little Boy's a little cautious. A good passing play, though, is Lentil off the post. And it's going to be Spicy running into him. But he's going to try and get the pass off the back while ends up stalling the ball. And so that's going to stall the offense as they still try to keep the ball in the blue zone. Just we come across the 2 minutes 45 seconds left to go here in game number one. Not quite halfway point here spicy soup tries to put something on target there it will be knocked away though as crutchy looking for a game freak here game freak sends another opportunity for a center ball there cut out there by an entire soup squadron what is the soup squadron there is it just a bag of soup then that's been in, 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 a, in a boiling water i don't know is it is it I don't know what a soup, soup squadron would be. I don't know. It, it was it was condensed. You know, it's condensed soup. You know, because we got all of them in one small space there. Or would trying it be to make three that guys taking like holding up uh, water guns that are just filled with soup. What it would maybe be that? Would that be the soup squadron? Maybe, but you know, the, the, the 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 super squad. You know, like, you know, like a super soaker. You know, or the squirrel <laughs> the, squad. The super super. <laughs> yeah, the super the super super. Well, no, super super is the person that oh, that you owe rent to every time. Um, oh. <laughs> But meanwhile, a shot coming in here from I Morty, cleared away there by Spicy Soup. Spicy Soup's gonna take a long boomer, and Game Freak will be there to say no Pokemon for you. All right, so here we go. Now down to a minute and a half. I mean, the the adjustment being made from the Ladle Boys has been really good. They have been able to uh, really hit the brakes on this offense coming out from the crossbars going scoreless and just as i say that morty gets in for the hat trick so it's now a three nothing game morty coming like they're from another dimension here scoring on the soup like 
crackers just pouring salt in the wound. So right now it looks like Crossbar is going to be able to walk away with the win. Minute 23 left to go on the clock though. I don't think it's going to be enough time as the Lady Boys have yet to find the back of the net. And it's not like they've really been outplayed too much. That first minute they were a little slow on the uptake but then really changed things around and were able to make some good adjustments. So I think other than that one goal that we just saw Morty got, they're carrying some good momentum heading into game two. And if they can get a goal, can definitely help turn things around for the second game of the series. Momentum is good, but the best momentum, you know, bringer there is to get a goal yourself in the waning seconds of game number one. That's the best way to start that momentum and kickstart it for game number two. And just like we saw in the first match of the night here, they are coming into game number two, but possibly looking at being shut out in game number one. And we, <laughs> speaking from experience, at least early tonight, that's not, uh, that does not usually bode well. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see if it's going to change things up, but 25 seconds left to go, still no score on the board. We're just kind of bouncing the ball back and forth. Not quite playing Heat Seeker, but something very similar, it feels like as it's going to be a shot opportunity sent away by French Onion. Now 14 seconds left on the clock as we're just waiting for the clock to hit zero at this point. And now it looks like Crossbar is going to walk away with the first win of the series. And that's going to be an early start for them and a chance to face the RK Yadas in the finals. But they still got two more wins to get in order to lock in their spot. And the ladle boys, they've got to be shaking their... Two cans right now, right on around saying, eh, <laughs> arms for the poor, goals for the poor. Can anybody spare a free goal? Because crossbars looking pretty down right there. You see four shots, three goals for I Morty. I'm taking it, you know, back must be, you know, need, probably needs a uh, gift card to massage envy or something like that after this, because he is certainly carrying the scoring load here for the crossbars. Yeah, and whenever we were uh, watching the crossbars on Tuesday night, uh, we uh, I was talking with Coyote, and he said that watch out for Morty because Morty can be one to really uh, be a difference maker. And we saw that here in game number one, although he really didn't come into too much of a role uh, on their match. Tuesday, by chance, can we get a different server? Yeah, we can do that. Nope, not allowed. <laughs> But um, yeah, I mean, he, he proved to be a difference maker there. Uh, however, he did say watch out because if he switches into the uh, Batmobile, like he's really he's really good in the Batmobile. But I mean, he seemed to be doing just fine in the Octane, getting the only three goals on the board. Uh, by the way, real quick, thank you, Cookies, for the 34 bits. And real quick, can we get a pod champ for everybody from everybody. 34 viewers in chat for the tournament of champions really hype about this uh, each night so far this week we have had so much support from you guys coming out and watching all these matches and they've been some really good ones even though again they, some of them might have been uh sweeps the sweeps have been close it's not like anybody's really been blowing each other out they've been really close games the entire way yeah it's been it's been close here you know sweeps are, are always fun there because i, I I'm a fan of brooms. I don't know if you're a fan of brooms. Sometimes I'm a fan of an upside down broom. It says, what I'm saying is that um, I, uh, Fantasia really Im impacted me pretty pretty well as a child there. And so the Magician's Apprentice really kind of influenced me in my formative late years. Would you agree? Uh, I actually didn't really, I have never seen Fantasia. Being a music teacher, I am ashamed to say that, but I have never really seen oh, Fantasia. Dear. How that that's that's like require viewing. How like how? I I don't know. I don't know. But JT coming in with the hundred bits. Thank you, man. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, is that does that give you the number one uh, bit giver rule? And uh, number two. But but no, I, I I'm not drunk. Drunk cookies there. Listen, uh, <laughs> no one gets your fantasy. Listen, Fantasia 2000 also phenomenal movie too. Like I I will. I've have seen no bits problem. of them. I, I will say I have seen bits. I'm not totally like uncultured. I've seen bits of the Fantasia movies, just have not watched the in, them in their entirety. I mean, Night on Bald Mountain, but it's 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 classic, you know. It's 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 why we all grew up digging goth aesthetic. See, I, now now I have to go back and watch because I think I've seen that one, but I'm not 100 percent sure. It's one that either you loved or gave you nightmares. It's, there's no in between there. Gotcha. <laughs> Speaking of nightmares, though, can 
uh, the ladle boys find something to cause some nightmares on the defense. Spicy Soup says, yes, we can, and tucks it into the bottom left-hand corner there. Four minutes, 12 seconds left to go. Ladle boys got themselves a goal. A really good play. That moment of hesitation from Game Freak open up that bottom left corner. So the ladle boys now find themselves on the scoreboard. Would that be the catalyst here to get them started and into this series? They had a very good run uh, last night, being able to pull off the sweep, but now they find themselves down one nothing. Again, both these teams champions in their division. They ended up winning their divisions and becoming champions for it, which is what got them here. But now it's a chance to move on to see who is going to be the best in the tier. We are just past that one minute mark. Still only one goal on the board for the Ladle Boys. Best in the tier. Will it be no tears? Don't cry for me, Argentina. For the Spicy Soup and Company. Or will they find a way to be having a Mexican uh, wedding soup at the end of this one? I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to find as many soup puns. To paint. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm stretched thin. I'm stretched thin. <laughs> All right, so good demo. Game Freak going to put that one off the back wall. And we're that's one thing we're not really seeing too much of. Again, as you said, the demo plays not very often. They're far and few between. We'll see if that's going to be something that starts to step up as we see a couple demos here and there. Good touch here downfield. We'll be pushed off to the corner by Morty. Who spawns just at that perfect time. Watch out. He could be lethal as French Onion challenges it and knocks it off his car. So French Onion with a great challenge there. Lentil Soup. We'll set it wide there over to French Onion again. These two playing well together. Good passing opportunity between them. Spicy Soup with Mop and Buffett kind of playing that third man role. A shot coming in. Good save from I Morty there as Game Freak now sends it off into the side here and tries to get the offense started for the crossbars who have not had much success on offense here in game number two. As he hit halfway through this one, they still trail 1 0. Make that 2 0. Thank you, Lentil Soup, for cursing me for that. You're welcome. And a great shot here from Lentil. What a clear to just bomb it. He sees the Game Freak is cheating up. And I know he's looking for that clear, but at the same time is able to put it on target. A great snipe now gives them that 2 nothing lead here at the halfway point. And they're definitely feeling a lot better here. It just feels like the pace a little bit slower coming out from the crossbar side. And this is kind of a struggle that they had throughout their match on Tuesday. It was back and forth and back and forth. But we see Game Freak getting in and taking advantage of that fast rotation, catching the defense off guard. Caught him off guard there. Spicy Soup had nothing to do. He was caught in no man's land there. Kind of left it out to drive by his teammates there. So they do get to claw that advantage back to just one. We will see if that continues here. With two minutes left to go here. We will see crossbars. Maybe try and take advantage of that mental lapse on defense here. As I Morty tries to find Game Freak up for it in here. Doesn't have a boost for it. Lentil Soup will clear it. And I Morty bumping into his teammate there. And we'll see if that is uh, indicative of their chemistry right now. Or if I Morty again can continue to carry as a shot with an open goal. How do you not finish that? And I am Morty says uh well i do I, I i just finished him i just do this yeah he ends up going with a game freak decided to try and cut but nobody back in net you could tell the later boys wanted to transition a little bit faster and that's what's going to catch them here they're struggling a little bit on defense when it comes to those uh those quick attacks that we're seeing from the crossbars and just as we were saying a little bit earlier it felt like they were slowing down the pace a little bit from what they did in game one and it's picked up yet again, and it's really kind of thrown the Ladle Boys uh, on edge here. But a quick move by Lentil, trying to see if he can get a goal to make that lead back to one. Unfortunately, it does not go their way. A little bit of a double commit there on off the wall there. However, they are able to cover them, do the crossbars. Um, you will see them working a little bit more of the infield passing uh, for them as a shot comes in from crushing off that great infield pass from I Morty. And Crunchy will now take the lead here for the crossbars. So three straight goals here in just about a minute, a little bit over that, but still pretty impressive to make that push. And just like that, they're looking to get that 2-0 series lead 
over a very solid ladle boy squad because they did really well to get that lead they did a great job of controlling the first half of the game but you gotta play the full five minutes and that's what we've seen so far they get they they kind of like eased off the gas here through uh the past minute and a half and that's where we saw the crossbars take advantage of it they're now up three two in the last 50 seconds of game two well and here's where i'm gonna throw a little controversy in here as a shot goes off the corner from game break where crossbars maybe just toying with the ladle boys here for the first half of the game here as you see they kind of ramped up that pressure very quickly and, and scored three in quick succession here and to take the lead were they just kind of toying with their opponents what do you think they very well could have been i mean you never know unless you're in the comms for that kind of stuff but it just seems like i mean we saw things pick up and they had that like flash of brilliance and then things kind of kick back down as we see them right here they give up the goal they're kind of scattered all over the place on defense and so we're tied 3-3 with 19 seconds so i wouldn't say yeah, they so were what? quite playing with their food uh but <laughs> no sorry for that pun that was really rough um <laughs> But um, yeah, you got me into the puns now. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, they I think that they had that moment where they just kind of buckled down, got things going and then they got the lead. And it feels like when they get the lead, they kind of slow things down a little bit. But either side, we're going to head to a game number two OT. Yeah, so Lentil Soup clearly calling me a liar here saying no, we weren't being played with here. Uh, so getting this to that overtime we all love a good overtime here as a neutral observer uh because more rock league is just it's free rock league it's free real estate you know spicy soup though trying to end it quickly off the backboard here cross crutchy we'll get the save here drop down from lentil it's gonna be wide though and i morty can't get around french onion soup here but here comes crutchy up to game freak passes out to i morty no takes himself spicy soup there with the block here and here comes Lentil Soup with a shot. Crutchy with the save there. Here comes Mop and Bucket from French Onion Soup. And it will not drop on the floor. We have game number three with the series tied at one. Ladle Boys take game number two. So we're at least going to get four games in this series. The Ladle Boys end up taking game two in very dramatic fashion in OT. And I want to say one thing that seemed to start working was the the backboard pressure coming out a little bit from the ladle boys seemed to be going they almost had that goal in ot to kick things off rather quickly uh but then the other thing that is working is the push down field and then you see them like move the entire team up they get very aggressive with the rotation they try to get in the box and that's been working as well so it's really interesting to kind of see the change the ladle boys made they took game one a little bit slower possibly a chance to feel out the crossbars uh and then it seemed to work here in game four because they made some really good adjustments to be able to push and get that 4-3 win now here's the less scientific uh reason for why the ladle boys may have won game number two see during game number two i was actually eating soup um some steak and potato soup there so maybe that was the reason why they won is that i, I was eating soup so that could very well have been um the reason uh for winning i don't know if that's tr true or not there but i like to believe it is um but we'll see if that is the case here because game number three is going to come up here and it's going to be a matter of uh, whether or not the crossbars come out on top or ladle boys come on on top here game number three it's a crux of a best of five match and as i always say if you win game number three you are more likely to win the entire series is my in my uh studies yeah i mean usually that 2-1 lead is is pretty helpful because again that is that match point but right now we're more worried about just who is going to get that, not the lead itself. As we start off game three, and it looks like the Ladle Boys trying to get an early push. Again, that aggressive rotation coming out as we see all three of them pushing up towards the blue box, but it gets sent out and now Game Freak off the 50. It's gonna be French Onion taking control. The bomb downfield off the half volley goes into the corner. And now a pass from French Onion. Good challenge, but it gets sent away yet again. A shot by Lento on the near post is going to go in. Nobody home for the crossbars. Absolutely. Dime up a shot there from Lentil Soup. Finding the angle there in between the defense here for the crossbars. And I got to say, Lentil Soup, certainly, Ladle Boys, finding a lot more. You see, you can always feel the confidence oozing out from their cars right now. They are feeling very 
very confident in their own abilities here in game number three already well the late so the ladle boys their style of play right now very high risk high reward because if there's a good clear that gets over top of them whenever they're creeping up on these rotations that's going to really i mean it, it can cause this thing to just absolutely go all over the place and give up that lead so quickly but so far the, the defense from the crossbars does not seem very strong as they're not really getting some good clears. They're kind of struggling to transition into offense. Let's see if that's going to change here throughout game three. Well, and absolutely. And, and before th this attack is now shifting to the orange out of the field here, it really kind of felt like the ladle boys were just like, you know, hunting dogs with the ears pinned back, just looking, going for the kill there, just trying to put so much pressure on the crossbars right now crossbars were struggling getting out of their own half of the field now it's kind of bouncing back and forth on either side of the midfield line here this morning's trying to put something here creating some opportunity for game freak to put a shot on target here it's going to go off the crossbar though i'm oh, sorry the back the uh, post rather lentil soup will make the save on the follow-up here french onion soup now out to midfield here gets the dunk here looks for an opportunity here comes lentil soup into the side here but game freak will make sure it stays in the corner so now two minutes through here in game two and it's only a one nothing lead for the ladle boys but we, again we see them doing a great job on offense getting some pressure on they just need to try and get more of those opportunities to the middle of the field here and i think they can see their score total go up however we have seen some uh very nice looks from the crossbars they're still really working these passing plays they're really trying to get that ball up in the air because that's where they've been able to thrive as she sends it into the corner as we approach the halfway point of game number three halfway point indeed and it's still one nothing for the ladle boys here they are holding on to that tenuous one goal lead here crutchy looking for a good pass here i morty had the wrong angle though but the right idea uh for that pass coming in there and it will be a shot here by crutchy with the mop and bucket wins the 50 50 here and we have it tied up one apiece with two minutes 18 seconds left to go and that's a tough angle if you're spicy to try and play that uh you're that last man mm -hmm. back and you got to challenge him because if you don't challenge that's an easy shot on target you have to try and pre-jump that um if it were me personally i would have tried to stay on the goal line to make that stop and make that read however uh making that challenge is probably the best play he had uh given the position he was in so unfortunate that he gave up the goal we're tied at one now Lentil Soup backflip, so it doesn't get the opportunity at a really good shot. So Spicy's going to have to try and get it through Morty. Now Game Freak here sends it out to the side here. Lentil can't get around Crushy. Here comes I Morty combining with their teammate here. Spicy Soup reads it well, though. Gets it out to midfield. Game Freak will collect the boost here and be in shadow defense. Gets a good save off the front post there. Crush on Soup off the backboard here. And I Morty credited with a savior medal now. Three saves at least for them here in game number three uh you know, and that is in fact three saves they're confirmed lentil soup here trying to get out to midfield here looks for an opportunity sees nothing but net game freak last one back here here comes french onion soup can't find the angle and it stays one one up the post spicy soup nothing can get in the back there the ladle boys are gonna want that one back a missed opportunity right there about i think it was what three four chances that they had right on the net really good looks really good angles just were unable to find the inside of the net the post stepping up huge on that one but don't discredit the defense right now from the crossbars I, even though i said they were struggling on defense to be able to get the ball out that doesn't mean they haven't been able to make stops the fact that there's a savior medal on the board definitely is a testament to how strong their defense has been but right now we see another opportunity spicy goes over game freak tries to get the block on morty but can't get it now 30 seconds to go and we might be heading to a game to uh, game three i mean ot game three up oh, overtime very likely here you know, obviously i think that uh, our serving size for soup uh shots seems to be at its maximum here we might be going into some extra calories here save uh four eight shots already here only one goal to to see for it though final 10 seconds coming up to crush here can he put something home no and it will probably drop down here and we should have in theory overtime 
Dangerous spot though. Crutchy thankful that he didn't have to worry about having to make the play. And so it is going to be tied 1-1 going into OT here. Ladle Boys took the last one. Who's going to walk away with this one? We had a quick goal, almost an, uh, a quick goal here as it's right in the middle of the field, but cleared out now. Spicy looks for French Onion, but Game Freak is right there for it. Now back downfield, Lentil sends it. Downfield here, and what a booming shot by I Morty. That one will go all the way the distance from downtown. Crossbars will take game number three and put themselves on match point. What a phenomenal shot there by I Morty. All right, so the crossbars now find themselves up 2 1 on the series. And if I'm recalling correctly, I'd have to go back and look, but I believe they were up 2 1 on the series uh, Tuesday night. But I don't remember 100% correct off the top of my head. Uh, so this could spell a game five for us. We'll have to wait to see. Uh, but as I save the game here, there we go. So, really, Take the question look. becomes then for, for the crossbars is can they see this one out? Or will they be choking on their own soup? We'll have to wait and see. I mean, we got 30 seconds before we get into the next game here. Thank you real quick, Achilles and Yankee for the follows. Thank you guys so much. And thank you for everybody that has followed during this entire time for the uh, Tournament of Champions. It's been great to see all the support coming out from you guys. Uh, but as we were saying, though, uh, yeah, it's ladle boys definitely need to step up French onion a little lackluster there on the scoreboard 78 points, but the points don't always show how much you contribute. He was able to get in there and throw the body a little bit, but eight shots from the ladle boys to uh, I think it was what six for uh, the crossbar. So ladle boys putting up lots of shots just were unable to get results from it. So that's something that they definitely need to work on here in the next game. We we have the server crash on us. Good, good. It's mm. always fun. We'll do a quick remake. Uh, I'll let you know about that. Like, yeah, it dropped me out, but didn't. I guess didn't drop you. I don't know. Give me one second. I have a sneeze coming. All right, we're good. I muted so you guys couldn't hear it. JT got to hear it. You guys didn't have that, to hear that, it though. <laughs> that that was that was a sneeze. You you you, you were not wrong. Yeah, I, I yeah, it was coming. <laughs> All right, so I messaged the captains. We should be good to go again. Didn't know we were so late in hurricane season to have a hurricane sparky. <laughs> All right, so we got everybody in. Let's go ahead and get things kicked off here for game four. Will we get a game five? Crossbars have proved that they can fight through the pressure once already in this tournament. Will they have to fight it yet again? They're hoping not. I think we're all hoping yes, because game fives are always exciting. It doesn't matter where you're at, what you're watching. Game fives are always thrilling. Game number four, and right off the bat there, I, Morty, trying to get a shot, uh, a good save, rather. I, excuse me, I've got my... Apparently, I'm colorblind today. That's all right, but uh, Crutchy does clear it out here. French on your soup, getting a good pressure now for the Ladle Boys. Ladle Boys trying to create something early here that seemed to find success with that last game, getting the early goal there and had to make the crossbars try to work from behind there. Eventually getting the win in overtime in game number three. So it didn't work in the end there, but it worked for a good uh, long time in that match there as we were wondering if the crossbars were gonna be able to handle it here. So we should see some more, I think, uh, attacking philosophy coming out of the ladle boys here in game number four. Yeah, they definitely have their backs against the wall in this one. A good bump here, but nobody to follow. So a moment of that uh, quick rotation, that very aggressive style that we were seeing from the ladle boys. We see that gap and it allows the pressure to release here on the blue end. Now it's back over on the ladle boys side. Spicy puts it to the corner. French onion should be able to clear. He actually misses on the touch. And now here comes Morty for a shot. Redirected by Karachi. Actually saved, I think, there by Lentil. And so we're kind of just hanging out here at the midline now, trying to see who's going to figure out what the possession. A good dunk by Spicy is not going to be on target, though. Back into the middle of the field we go. And now downfield, no touch from Game Freak as now Morty into the corner. Pass to the mid, misses it himself. A little bit of confusion coming out from the Little Boys on who goes for it. Game Freak off the back wall. And now an opportunity for a counterattack from the Little Boys. 
So, you know, boys had that opportunity there, but cut out there by I Morty in midfield here. So we'll see now that uh, offensive pressure here is a little bit of possession and I Morty turns to be, uh, well, he, fav he favors possession there. He likes that and good pass there from Game Freak sets up. I mean, that's that's picture perfect there. That That is textbook corner uh, pass right there. It is one nothing for crossbars. A great awareness there from Morty to know to make that turn, that hard turn to go for the shot. Game Freak diving in off the kickoff is going to get the second goal in the game, now making it a 2-0 lead in just two minutes into the game. Yeah, so it's good to see Game Freak getting on the end of the scoring sheet as well. Game Freak so often the uh, playing second fiddle there to I Morty on this team here, but right now, you know, able to take advantage with a goal of their own here. This actually had a bit of an awkward kickoff there. I don't know if anyone else saw that here, but uh, Game Freak now working possession here over to I Morty out to midfield here. Spicy soup though tries to get home. Crutchy says I am the defense and makes the stop in time. French onion soup though, try to get it in here. Now uh, you see a lot of attacking here because they know little boys, it's win or go home right now. Win to survive, go home if you don't. We're seeing lots of, yeah, as you're saying, lots of pressure coming out, but so much defense. Morty already has three saves on him uh, on the board. Now three for Crutchy. This defense, it's like a brick wall. Shots are going up, but none are going through. And another opportunity now coming out for the crossbars. If they can put another goal home, that might be enough to seal the deal. But it is still two minutes left on the clock. It looks like French Onion trying to move downfield with it, unable to get that through. The the aggressive style from the Ladle Boys is working to get offense. But what do they need to do, JT, to try and get these shots to go through? What do you think? Uh, again, I think it just comes to uh, show something that they haven't really shown before here. You know, none of them. Um, I don't know if, if any of them have the ability to possibly look for a uh, Philip reset there off the uh, off the ceiling, possibly a ceiling shot or at least a ceiling pass uh, or some infield passing here because it, 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 there's something to show something a little bit that um, the that the crossbar, crossbars haven't seen yet um, because right now the crossbars are able to read and predict just about everything that uh, the Lado boys have been able to throw at them so far. There's just a little bit of ingenuity is going to be needed there. It's crutchy now. Everybody's scored here for the crossbars here. They're trying to say this is a team win here and uh, saying that they dropped game number two here, but in game number one, game number four here, they want to make sure they, they, they put a stamp of authority on the game. And it looks like that might be enough here as the Lado boys, I think the soup has run out. This is not Olive Garden. We do not have unlimited soup and salad, but a 3-0 lead. Feeling pretty good at this point with a minute, uh, just about a minute left to go. Ladle Boys have put up a really hard fight, but just have not been able to answer this aggressive attack coming out from the crossbars. A good clear downfield will give them a little bit of life here. Lentil gets on the board, making it 3-1. Gap down to two goals here. So we'll see if uh, they can... Uh... Try to get some unlimited breadsticks. Like, like you said, we don't have super salad. Do we? Have, do we have unlimited breadsticks? I don't know. That's a good question. I'd have to go check in the kitchen. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> let, let, let me know. Let me know. But uh, less than a minute to go here. Neutral kickoff goes in favor of the crossbars here. They will look to create more havoc here. Trying to maintain possession. I'd imagine possibly just passing back and forth between each other here. Uh, like if, if I'm in if I'm in the crossbar position, what I want to do is I want to kill the clock. I want to milk as much clock as possible here get on top of the ball and then just boom it into a corner make the other team chase the game here that's what spicy soup is trying to do here just trying to chase the ball chase the game keep it out of the uh, axles of their opponents here for as long as you can there make their life as difficult yeah, as 20 you can. seconds now left to go we're seeing some opportunities from the ladle boys but still again yet nothing getting through we, uh, i can't wait to see the save totals after the game here for the crossbars because they are going to be unreal <laughs> we have seen so many throughout this one a nice opportunity but the ladle boys unfortunately are going to be sent home after this one a quick last second goal coming out from crutchy seals the deal on this one they are going to move on to the finals and face the rk yadas we're going to have two undefeated teams in the tier three championship absolutely and a grand total uh and i have it for you now 10 faves for the crossbars 
here in that matchup absolutely uh insanity there game freak and <laughs> morty i morty with three saves and then crunchy coming out the surprise mvp four saves two goals and an assist two goals on three shots and honestly everybody putting in work there for the crossbars they deserve to move on to the champions to face rk yadas and that's going to be a really interesting uh match whenever we get to that point because two teams very very strong teams at that uh the crossbars now have fought off a couple overtimes they managed to win in the game five now the granted they haven't swept in the same fashion that we have seen the sweeps come out from the uh yadas but still nonetheless pulling off the victories is not an easy thing i believe that first game was what i'd have to remember the scores i don't remember now <laughs> yeah absolutely they did